Welcome to Windows Fixer, your go-to place for troubleshooting and fixing all kinds of Windows issues. If you're stuck with an error, a performance problem, or just something that's not working right, we've got the solution. Now let's get into today's fix. So you're trying to screen share on Discord, but instead of working smoothly, it just keeps loading forever. No error messages, no clear reason why, it just sits there stuck. Pretty annoying, right? Well, don't worry. In this video, I'll walk you through several fixes step by step so you can get your screen share working again. First, restart Discord completely. And I don't just mean closing the window, Discord stays running in the background even when you exit. To fully shut it down, right click the Discord icon in the system tray near the clock at the bottom right and select Quit Discord. Once it's closed, reopen it and try screen sharing again. If that doesn't work, restart your entire PC. Sometimes small system glitches cause Discord to act up and a full reboot helps clear them out. Next, check your internet connection. If your connection is unstable, Discord might struggle to start screen sharing. Open a browser and try loading a few websites or watching a video to see if your internet is running smoothly. If it's slow, restart your router. Just unplug it, wait about 10 seconds, then plug it back in. If you're using Wi-Fi, try switching to a wired ethernet connection. A direct connection is always more stable and can help avoid lag or loading issues in Discord. Now let's run Discord as an administrator. This gives Discord the necessary system permissions to function properly. Close Discord completely, then right click the Discord shortcut and select Run as Administrator. If a pop-up asks for permission, click Yes. Once Discord launches, try screen sharing again. This can help if something on your system is blocking Discord from accessing certain resources. If that didn't fix it, turn off hardware acceleration and Discord settings. This feature is designed to improve performance, but sometimes it causes the opposite effect, especially if your GPU isn't handling it well. To disable it, open Discord, go to Settings at the bottom left, scroll down to Advanced, and find Hardware Acceleration. If it's enabled, turn it off. Discord will prompt you to restart. Go ahead and do that. Once it reopens, try screen sharing again. Still not working? Let's clear Discord's cache. Over time, Discord stores temporary files that can cause issues. To clear them, press Windows plus R on your keyboard, type percent, app data percent, press enter. Now find the folder named Discord, then look for cache folder and open it. This opens a folder with a bunch of files. Just select all of them and delete them. After that, restart Discord and see if screen sharing works. Now let's check your graphics drivers. Since screen sharing relies on your GPU, outdated or corrupted drivers can cause problems. If you have an NVIDIA graphics card, open GeForce Experience, go to Drivers, and check for updates. If you have an AMD card, open the AMD Adrenaline software and update your drivers from there. If you're using an Intel GPU, go to Windows Update or Intel's website to install the latest version. After updating, restart your PC and try screen sharing again. Another thing that might be causing the issue is a VPN or proxy interfering with Discord. If you're using one, try disabling it and then restart Discord. Some VPNs block certain Discord features, and even though the app itself might work fine, screen sharing could be getting affected in the background. If nothing has worked so far, check if Discord is having server issues. Sometimes the problem isn't even on your end. Visit discordstatus.com to see if Discord servers are down. If there's an outage, all you can do is wait for them to fix it. And finally, if nothing else worked, reinstall Discord completely. To do this, open the control panel, go to Programs and Features, find Discord, and uninstall it. Then restart your PC, go to Discord's official website, download the latest version, and install it fresh. Log back in and try screen sharing again. It should work now. That's it for this fix. Hopefully one of these solutions worked for you. If it did, let me know in the comments which one helped, and if you're still stuck, I'll try to assist you further. Thanks for watching Windows Fixer, and I'll see you in the next one.